take tough, niggas ain't welcome, gotta go Real niggas only, yeah, welcome to the show Run into this dead end, you'll be a dead Aye, 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 what's the deal, what's the deal, what's the deal Your boy LB, bike with another one of them thing things, mate One time for the one time, you know what it is up over here, eh Check it out, though, check it out Today, today, my nigga I don't know what the fuck we have here. I don't, cuz, cuz told me he's somewhat of a motivational speaker, bodybuilder type nigga shit. Salute to hoes, AT. Got in the DMs. Actually, was supposed to do this a while ago, cuz, but got around to it better late than never. You feel what I'm saying? But my bad. Snap City, welcome to Muscleville with CT Fletcher. And like I said, I don't know what the fuck we getting into, but. I can't tell you a motherfucking thing about nothing. It ain't music. I know that he told me that it's on some motivational speaking type shit. So we shall see. They sit there and that lazy boy kick back and look at your form or my form and decide that it's bad form. They come up with this term Snap City, but Snap City is not a term for bad form, let me tell you what the fuck Snap City is. Snap. Oh yeah, I definitely don't know what the fuck is going on in this one. Um, I ain't one of them niggas sitting back in a lazy chair critiquing another nigga's physique or whatnot, but I'm damn showing in a motherfucking gym bodybuilding no shit. Cause I ain't a little nigga, but I ain't a big nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So. City is your own scared ass limitations that you try to put a term on. It's your own form. Let me tell you what the fuck Snap City is. Snap City is your own scared ass limitations that you try to put a term on. It's your own fear. It's for the fucking weak. It's where you reside. You reside in Snap City because you're too scared of a punk. I respect that. I feel that. And I, I humbly, humbly, humbly really respect that like I just said um because like most motherfuckers do put a limitation upon they self and when they put a, li a limitation upon they selves they mock you from doing shit that they can't you feel what I'm saying like we all seen it in movies and cartoons and all this shit the little kid that's fucking getting bullied by the fucking bully in school and the fucking bully really don't know how to fight he just big as shit so everybody's scared of him and he knows that so he walk around picking on kids so he pick on this one little kid who's really fucking scared but he gets the fuck up and just really <laughs> mix the shit. The bully ain't never been in the fight. The bully knows he don't have to fight. So he just go critique some shit because he know he don't got to fight till he run across a motherfucker that do fight. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas really be putting their limitations upon their own shit because they scared. I feel that. To actually get out there and do something but talk shit. Snap City is your home. Snap City is where you live. Snap City is fear. Snap City is why you ain't gonna never be shit. Snap City is your hometown. That's what you believe in. You walk a tightrope. You might have to actually do something besides sitting a motherfucking lazy boy, sipping a beer, talking shit. That's what Snap City is, motherfucker. That is surrounded and camped with fear. It's for the timid. It's for the motherfucking weak. That's what Snap City is. Your own motherfucking cage. You have imprisoned yourself in a cage of fear. That's Snap City. You punk ass motherfucker sitting on the couch talking shit. Snap City. You don't wouldn't know a fucking workout if it came up and slapped the taste out your motherfucking mouth. Poop butt ass motherfucker. Snap City. Snap City, my mother. He just called these niggas a poop butt motherfucker. I don't know. Some big niggas be big for nothing, cuz. We seen that shit, too. Big niggas that run off after, like, we just screamed about the bully. But it was just more in a different sense, cuz. But we seen these big buff niggas run off at the mouth and get whooped by a nigga half their motherfucking size, cuz. So, I mean, I don't fucking know, cuz. I'm, 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 this is where I'm at at this point in life, cuz. If you want to fight, I'm going to fight you. It has to be a reason. I ain't about to fight nigga over no dumb shit, cuz. But if it's a real issue you pushing, I don't give a fuck your size. I don't give a fuck your age. I don't give a fuck your rank. I'm gonna just shoot you. I'm gonna just nip, nip this shit in the butt. Cause this problem that came out of nowhere that I don't understand 
is just keep coming and coming. And then, you know, these big niggas be on some, I break your fuck, I snap your fucking neck. Now I feel my life is in danger. So if my life is in danger, since you have threatened mine, I'm taking yours. Fucking ass. I'm from Muscleville, motherfucker. Muscleville is where the real men roam. Muscleville is where I'm bound. And you're goddamn right, I'm muscle bound, motherfucker. I'm bound to have muscle. Because I don't live in fucking fear of what, ooh, what if I do this, maybe I'll hurt myself. You ain't gonna never be shit if you worried about hurting yourself every time you perform an exercise. One of the best bench pressers I ever met was a reverse bench presser, Anthony Clark. They said, if, if Anthony had listened to you fucking Snap City pussies, and didn't do a reverse bench press because it was dangerous or he might hurt himself. He never would have been the best, one of the best benches of all time. Listen to you pissing ass Snap City motherfuckers. Blow your motherfucking fingernails. Make sure you don't got a stocking run in your pantyhose, motherfucker. Tell me about Snap City. You motherfuckers make me want to puke. Scared to work. You scared. Muscle bound, motherfucker. That's what you need to try to be. I don't see much of no motivational speaker. A lot of shit talking. A gang of shit talking. Not much of no motivational shit, but I mean, I guess whatever, whoever and what the fuck ever Snap City is, then really pissed this nigga off. Like I said, I didn't know what the fuck I was getting into when I did this motherfucker. I'm lightweight, still don't know what the fuck I'm watching, but hey. Snap City. Anybody can talk shit. Any low life piece of shit like you can talk shit. But what are you gonna do? What can you do? What have you done besides talk shit? Shit like you can talk shit. But what are you gonna do? What can you do? What have you done besides talk shit? Anybody can do that. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck out my face and go do something. Fuck you and Snap City. That's how I feel about the shit. The motherfuckers just sit back and talk and talk and talk and talk, but but not not doing nothing. Like I tell people, a motherfucker get, go hate you for flipping burgers at McDonald's and talk about you. A motherfucker go hate you and talk about you for fucking mopping the goddamn floor. A motherfucker go talk about you winning them goddamn Grammy nominee. A motherfucker go talk about you and hate on you if you just signed a hundred million dollar contract. Bottom motherfucking line at the end of the day, fuck where everybody got to say. Because nine times out of ten, a motherfucker just got something to say, ain't doing nothing. Ain't doing nothing nothing probably stuck at a dead end ass job that they don't fucking like you feel what i'm saying so to each his own because i was getting this shit when i did the youtube oh here youtube why don't you get a real job and then why nigga i having fun with this why give a motherfucker the option to fire me when i could hire and fire myself <laughs> So I ain't just about to watch them go around this nigga in circles with a motherfucking camera, cuz. But, um, like I said, I don't know what I just got into. Cud, Cud did make some valid motherfucking points. I don't know what the fuck Snap City is. Don't know what the fuck Muscleville is. Got a little bit of introduction to the shit due to this video, but ain't my cup of tea. I'm That's not nothing I'm into. I don't really give a fuck about who's lifting weights, who's the best bench pressure. Like, just not my cup of tea. Cuz, salute to people doing it, just not my cup of tea. Get in the comment box. Get in the why? Get in the comment box. Like, and subscribe to the motherfucking YouTube channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Rocking with CJ Fletcher. Definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. LB for what's the deal? And I'm gone. Two hundred. Say tough niggas ain't welcome, gotta go Real niggas only, yeah, welcome to the show Run into this dead end, you'll be a dead man